Hello everyone, today I'm going to tell you some fantastic facts about planets. Please show to your kids so they learn about it. So let's start it. In our solar system, there is only one place where oxygen can be found. It is our home planet Earth, where everyone lives on. No life has been found yet on any other planet. And this is one of the ice giant planets, Neptune. It would take you 12 years to get to Neptune, which is when Jupiter completes a whole orbit around the sun, which means when you got to Neptune, it, Jupiter will finish an orbit around the sun. And this is the sun, a big ball of hydrogen and helium and gases. And it is all fire and it throws fire out in the solar system. They are called solar flares. And this is Venus, which is the second planet, which is brightest. But it's the brightest planet and it's the second brightest object in our solar system. So we're talking about the brightest things in the solar system. And the moon comes third. It is the third brightest object in our solar system. First, the Earth had two moons, but one of the smallest moons crashed into the largest moons, which is this moon in this picture. After the sun and the other things we talked about, Jupiter comes, which is the largest planet in our solar system, covered up in storms, which is between Saturn and Mars, some people believe. And then comes Pluto with its five moons, like Charon and Nix and Styx, and it's the largest dwarfed planet in our solar system, and the ninth planet from the sun. And after that, after all these things, comes Make Make, also pronounced as Maki Maki, with its moon MK2. And this is its distance from the sun, and you can see it's one crater. And this is Jupiter's inside and this is the outside of Jupiter and this is the biggest storm ever ranged the great red spot this storm ranges for over 300 years and it has a speed of 400 kilometers per hour and here comes Jupiter again. In this picture, the great red spot is shrinked. Now it's big again with its moons. This is Uranus, one of the ice giant planets, also known as a gas giant. We can call Uranus, Uranus, Unus, and also Uranus. It is tilted the most, so it's upside down. And this is Neptune, the coldest planet in our solar system. And it has five rings. One of his rings is named Adams. And now our home planet, Earth. You can see that Earth has land and it is 71% water, although some of you think it is 70% of water. And first it has two moons. And two moons were both big, but one of them was smaller than the bigger one. So the smaller one crashed into the bigger one from its gravitational pull. So it broke into pieces. And this is one of the red planets in our solar system, Mars. And its day is 37 minutes longer than our home planet's day, which is a bit longer than our day on our planet here. Yeah? And this is 
the planet which is 800 degree, which is Mercury. Some of you might think it looks brown, but it's actually grey. But in this image you can see it's brown and this colourful Mercury. And this is Jupiter and Mercury. And this is the hottest planet in our solar system, Venus. It can reach 800 degree in the morning and 800 degree at night. It can never be cold. It would stay hot for all of its life. And these are some exoplanets. They're meant to be hot and they are also called hot Jupiters, which means lots of the exoplanets are called hot Jupiters. Yeah? Now we're going to look at the rocky planets, all four of them. This is Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. The smallest rocky planet, Mercury. So we'll do it in a comparison. First Mercury, Mars, Venus and Earth. Venus, which is in this picture, is known as the Earth's sister. And these are some, you guessed it, dwarf planets and dwarf planet candidates. You can see Quar with its moon, which is gone. And now come the dwarf planets, more dwarf planets, like Maki Maki, known as Make Make. And here comes H. D, which is Jupiter's sister now. It is also a gas giant and an exoplanet. And it has rings and a purple spot. Some of you might think it has a red spot. And it does have a red spot and a purple one. And this is Wasp Grove B, one of the hot Jupiters in our solar system because it is made up of gas like Jupiter and it is the second biggest planet in our solar system after the HD. Then it comes, alright? This is Coral 7B, another hot Jupiter in our solar system. It orbits a different star than our sun, as we all know, like Wasp 12B. And here's Coral 7B and Earth. And it's a star and Coral 7B. And now we're moving back onto Jupiter. It takes Jupiter 12 Earth years to orbit the sun. And its day lasts for 10 hours, yeah? And the great red spot on Jupiter is a hurricane which is three Earths wide. It is the largest hurricane in the entire solar system. And now we're going to dive into Jupiter and see what's inside. And this is the surprise. It has water, but the water is not really water. It is gases, but in this picture, you can see it's water. So you can accept that there's water. Imagine there is, but it, there's not, yeah? And here's Ilo, Moon and Earth. We can call Ilo, Lo, but its real name is Ilo. And Ilo has more than 400 volcanoes in its surface, which is a lot, isn't it, guys? And this is a roper. A roper could be in the Goldilocks zone because it might have salty water hidden inside it. Which means there could be a chance of life over there. And this is Callisto. Callisto is the furthest Galio moon away from Jupiter, right? And it's very colourful. In fact, Callisto is the most colourful thing in our entire solar system, which is very fascinating. And this is Ganymede. It could be in the Goldilocks zone as well, because it might have salty water hidden under it as well. And Ganymede is the largest moon in the entire solar system. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Tomorrow, I'll come up with a new video. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.